Hey guys, Tammy here, and today I'm at Waterburger, okay, and um, pretty fucking excited about it. Uh, I'm in El Paso, Texas right now, fucking love El Paso, we just wrapped up three sold out shows, gonna finish one tonight, that's why my voice is a little straggly, okay, I've been up there on stage doing stand up comedy, and I've been sucking some dick, so, <laughs> but that's beside the point. Okay, now, before I hit up Whataburger, let me tell you about today's sponsor, AdamandEve.com, okay, you guys know I fuck with AdamandEve.com, okay, that's my shit, and y'all know that, and I don't play around about that, okay, and one thing else that I don't play around about, busting nuts, okay, because I think busting nuts is... Really one of the most important things in the world, really, if you think about it. It's definitely top three, okay? Now, if you don't know what adamandeve.com is, it's a website that's going to carry everything you're ever going to need to help you bust, okay? We're talking clit ticklers, butt plugs, um, straight up dildos, some of them in shapes of actual penises, okay? Um, they've got DVD. <laughs> They've got everything on there, is what I'm saying, okay? Now, since I love you guys, they love you guys, they're going to give you guys a discount, okay? And I'm not talking 10%. I'm not talking 20%. I'm not talking 30%, okay? They're going to give you guys 50% off any one item plus free shipping. Name a better deal. You can't. Okay? And it comes from me. Alright? So go to adamandeve.com and use code TAMMY. Okay? To get your discount. And happy nothing. Alright? Now. Whataburger. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> They've got some new shit since the last time I was here. I haven't been in several months. Probably since the last time I was in Texas. Ooh. I'm gonna get the new shit. You know what? I would. <laughs> yeah. And what kind of drink would you like? Dr. Pepper. Right. Be Throw in a chocolate mint shake. What size would you like? Just give me a small. And then could I also get, uh, do you still got the chicken strip baskets? Yeah. Uh, we have the number 13, which is a... Uh, Let, let's do it. No, just the basket. Let's do gravy, ranch, and honey mustard. Yeah. That'll do me. No, I don't. Thank you. God damn, $20. But you know what? I didn't know they had an app. That's good to know. That's really good to know. Okay. <clears throat> and I got some really good questions, okay? Y'all know I did the, <clears throat> the little Q&A thing on Instagram. And y'all asked some good stuff, okay? And um, listen, I'm here in El Paso. <sighs> well, first off, y'all know I love El Paso. I, I, the people from El Paso know I love El Paso. I love eating here. And the men, God, there's a military base, so I think that's what it is. How you doing? Good. Good. Good to see you. Well, I'm here to have the hatchet here. They give me the Dr. Pepper, a small chocolate milkshake on the side, and a three-piece cream of strips with gravy, rice, and honey butter. You got honey mustard. I'll take honey butter, too. Honey butter and honey mustard. Okay. Well, yeah. Honey and can I get some spicy ketchup? Of course. And that's it. Thank you. Okay. Anyway, um, the men here are fucking. I want all of them down my throat. <laughs> you know, they're so gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh hell yeah! Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Let me get to okay, thank you. Well, um, I've always thought that, but then the other day I found out there's a there's an army base here, and I didn't know that. Thank you. I didn't know that, and then as soon as I found that out, I go, makes sense. Ooh, I love military men. If they could all just line up for me and just fucking gangbang my ass. Oh, that's a dream right there. That's a dream. That's a dream that I think is achievable. Just gonna throw that out there. All right, here's my food. She's got it right there by the window. Not giving it to me. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I need to park somewhere with shade. Give me a minute. Give me a minute to find a good parking spot here. Okay. <sighs> Got to drive all the way over here. Hold on. Those were all uh, curbside pickup only. Have one space for that. Don't have up the whole fucking row. Damn. Fucking annoying, dude. Okay. Yeah. Good little spot. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Let me try my Dr. Pepper. Mm. Good and crisp. Mmm. That's crispy. Let's do a little thumbnail with the box. With my little basket here. My little chicken strip basket. Let's do a little thumbnail. Ready? Got it. Mm. Okay. First off, I'm going to try this mint chip shake. Okay? <clears throat> She's thick. <laughs> okay. No chips in there? The fuck? There ain't no chips in there. I thought it was a mint chip shake. Here's the thing. It tastes good. Here's It tastes like a chocolate shake that they just put peppermint flavoring in. You know? Like I wanted some chips. Don't call it a mint chip shake and there's no fucking chips. Chocolate chips is what I'm talking about. Not Lay's potato chips. I'm talking about chocolate chips. It's good, but the texture's off. The texture's off. Damn. All right. I'm going to dive in. Let's dive into the burger first. Hatch chili burger. All right. Here's my fries. Mmm. Fresh, crispy, and salty. You don't get those three things at McDonald's like you do here. Pretty good. I'm going to try them with the spicy ketchup for you guys here in a minute. Mm. All right, those are good. Mm. Now... hatch chili lover okay and I'm not a bacon lover on my burgers y'all know that but it was new to the menu 
and I'm trying new shit. Okay? So here's the burger. It says Hatch Green Chili Bacon Burger right there. And it's big. It's big. Whoa. Okay. Mmm. Oh, shit. Okay. So there's what it looks like right off the bat. All right? Let me open it up for you. She's thick. Okay? She's solid. She's sturdy. You hear that? <clears throat> Sounds just like me when I'm turned on. Okay? All right. Let's see here. Let's dig in. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. All right. Instantly, I will say, pack in the flavor, okay? Soon as you bite into it, the flavor is overload, all right? In a good way. The hatch chilies are not spicy. They're not hot. They're flavorful. I thought they were going to be hot. They're not. The cheese is good. They put double cheese on here. I don't know what kind of cheese that is. Let me see what's got on it. It's got the bacon. It's got the hatch chili. It looks like it's got mayonnaise. Two kinds of cheese. A white cheese and a yellow cheese. Them little hatch chilies are good. Let me have another bite here. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I'd get that again. In a heartbeat. I'd get it with no bacon, though. I just like my bacon super crispy. And it's not crispy. Mmm. God damn those hatch chilies, though. Those are fucking good. Those are fucking good. How you doing? Mmm. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna pick my bacon off. The bacon's just I don't know. I got it. Maybe I maybe I'll ask for an extra crispy next time. Let me try it without the bacon, see what that tastes like. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. Hey, 10 out of 10. And I thought it was going to be a 5. I really did. Okay. Let's answer a question. And you guys... I'm gonna get sentimental on you for a minute, okay? These shows have been fucking awesome. We just did Portland, Spokane, Oklahoma City, and we're in El Paso right now. We're about to head to San Antonio. Um, I met, I've met a lot of y'all through the, through the meet and greet lines, and I met two people last night that uh, really made me sentimental, okay? I'm not going to say y'all's names or whatever. I'm going to keep keep it vague. But, you know, I had a, I had a, a elderly gentleman come through. And he was in a walker. And he said that he was in an accident a while back. And they told him he's never going to walk again. And he washed my muck banks in rehab. When he was really rehabilitating his legs. And he said, I really gave him the pep in his step to help him walk again. And that motherfucker was walking. So to you, um, I love you. Congratulations on walking again. If you're watching this mukbang, I'm sure you are. Uh, thank you for the support. 
And I also met another uh, young lady who was going through a really hard time. I'm not going to say exactly what happened, but you know who you are. And she said that, you know, she'd go to, she'd go to um, <clears throat> whatever restaurant I went to and picked up food and ate with me. And it felt like I was her only friend. And I just want to let you guys know, we are fucking friends, dude. We are fucking friends. It's fucking, it's weird, you know? Like people come up to me in public and they're like, Tammy, it's so weird because I feel like I know you. And I'm like, fuck, I feel like I know you too, you know? It's just, it's fucking weird. So I love y'all. Thank you for the support and thank you for watching my mug banks. Now let's get into the first question. <clears throat> Tammy, give up dick or sour cream? You have to pick one. <sighs> you picked two of my favorite things, bitch, and you know you did. You know it's going to be a hard hard one for me. But I'm going to pick one. If I had to give up dick or sour cream, which would I give up? <sighs> this is really going to be hard for me to say, but sour cream. Because there ain't no fucking way I'm giving up dick. I'll tell you that right now. No fucking way. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You know, I can work around some sour cream. Yeah, my life will be miserable. But, you know, I can put some other type of stuff on there. You can't... You can't replace dick. Yeah, you can buy dildos and stuff. And that's great. That's great as an additive... But some some people it's great as a replacement. Not for me. Not for me. Okay. All right. So here's the spicy ketchup right there. I'm going to dig in here. Mmm. Slaps every time. Mmm. Mmm. Damn. Damn. Mm. Don't ever get regular ketchup at Whataburger. Don't ever get regular ketchup at Whataburger. Not when they got the spicy shit. And it's not even hot. It's just has a little tang to it. Kind of like my pussy. So if you're watching this and you are someone who has eaten my pussy and you're like, hmm, I don't know if I like the spicy ketchup. If you like the taste of my pussy, you'll love the taste of the spicy ketchup. Okay? All right. Here's my honey butter sauce. And it's big. Look at that. Here's my honey mustard sauce. Okay, and that's big too. All right, I'm gonna dig in. I'm gonna open this chicken strip basket and see what's in there. Oh, okay. Chicken strips, my gravy. You gotta have the gravy and the ranch. Okay, I'm gonna take that ranch out. You know what? Whataburger doesn't give you little little tiny half-assed sauces. They really they they're not fucking around when it comes to the sauces. That's what I love about them. Okay. Did I not get my Texas toast? I thought it was supposed to come with Texas toast. All right, so here's the gravy, okay? I'm gonna dip one of my chicken strips in there. All right, ooh, mmm, 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 their chicken strips are good. All right, ready? Mm. You can't beat gravy, okay? Now, you have the saltiness of the strip with the saltiness and the creaminess of the gravy, and then you wash it down with the sweetness of the Dr. Pepper. Mmm. 
Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Mmm. Mmm. Hey. Did y'all see I went viral on TikTok? If not, go check it out. I went fucking viral. I mean, I always go viral, but this one extra viral. Let's answer another question. Okay. Here we go. Mmm. It's a question about my viral video. Tammy, did your titty hurt after smashing that cockroach? No. Um, because my titties are, I mean, they can, they can handle a punch. Let's just, let's just say that. Um, I can handle some pain. All right. They didn't even bruise or nothing. So my titties were fine. I know I've had a lot of questions, a lot of DMs, people asking, Tammy, are your titties okay? It's fine. It's fine. Thank you for your concern though. Okay. All right. Mm. Tammy, do you have <clears throat> a bigger goal now that you've become mega famous? Honestly, no. Um, I just live it day by day. Take it day by day. And whatever happens, happens. You know? And whatever doesn't happen, wasn't meant to be. So I, I'm not going to sit there and, 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 you know, oh, now that I'm this level of famous, I got to get to this level. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Okay? It's all about, it's all about just being chill and having fun. And that's how I see it. Does that make sense? I could use some texture up in this motherfucker, but we'll talk about that later. Mm. Let's answer another question. Oh, this is a good one. <clears throat> Tammy. <clears throat> what are your thoughts on fisting? Um, you know, you can't get a fist up my twat. <laughs> And I know the fisters out there are going to say, well, yeah, you could if you really, if you really tried, you know, and I know people train for that shit. People train, you know, they start with a finger and then two, and then three, and then they'll do this and then they'll get maybe like a hand up there. And this may be days over time, weeks over time, months over time, just depending on how tight your pussy is. And then they'll do this. Then they'll get this much in there. And then they'll get the thumb in there. And then, you know, two days later, they may do a little more, a little more. To where they're finally full-blown just, you know, their pussy's getting fisted. They don't do nothing for me. Just rub my clit. You know, I'm pretty easy going. Just rub my clit. That's all I care about. You know? But if that's your thing and you want to do that, that's cool. You know, because I think that's pretty cool to say, hey, you know, I like getting fisted. That's pretty cool to say, you know. All right. So there's my honey butter. Honey mustard. And ranch. And I got them setting on my legs here. Okay. So let's try this uh, uh, chicken strip right here. Okay. I'm going to dip it in. Let's dip it in the honey mustard first. All right. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Their honey mustard is good because it's got a little kick to it. Can y'all see this motherfucker? God damn, hold on. Fuck! God damn it. Look at him. <laughs> Shit! Look! The cowboy. Just walking by, dude. Just fucking walking by and he's fucking hot. God damn, he's wearing a blazer and a cowboy hat. And cowboy boots. Only in El Paso. Only in El Paso. Well, maybe like other parts of Texas too, but you know what I mean. God, my pussy just got wet. Oh, he had a mustache too? God damn, I may go cat call him after this. Mm. Oh my God. Damn. <laughs> that just made my fucking day, dude. Okay. So, let's try the honey butter next, okay? And if you don't know what this is, it's like a sweet sauce mixed with honey and butter. Okay? Here we go. Damn. Damn. It's good. It's good. I've had it before, but... It's good. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Let's try the ranch next. Can't go wrong with an old, cool, crisp classic. Okay? Mmm. Damn, they got good ranch. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Out of the sauce trio, I think my favorite is the honey mustard. And let me tell you why. Because I like the sweetness of the honey butter and the ranch is good and classic. But their honey mustard has a, has like horseradish in it. Almost has like a, like a, like, oh, mm. yeah. I don't know why I just did that last part away. Mm. Right. Mm. Very good. Ahead and answer another question, okay? All right, okay. Tammy, do you get a lot of lesbians coming on to you because heart emoji eyes, meaning she wants to fuck me? <laughs> That's how I took it. Um, do I get a lot of lesbians coming on to me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, because um cuz I'm really good looking. You know? And people see that. And they naturally want to fuck me. Um I love lesbians. I've never had a lesbian relationship. Would I? Probably. You know? If the right lesbian came along, you know, I'd scissor for sure. But I love dick, you know, so that that's where I'm like, Fuck, you know, like that's where it comes in. You know, could I be with a woman for the rest of my life? I'd have to have some sort of penis and balls up in that relationship, you know, but that we're not, we don't got to dive deep into that. I just, uh, yes, lesbians love me. Yes. Lesbians hit on me. Um, women, lesbian or not, send me pictures of their tits all the time. Want me to look at them and tell them what I think. And I love that, you know, because who don't love tits? I do, <laughs> you know, 
I'll suck on a pair of titties. Okay. Let me try another bite of this burger. I can't, I'm getting full, dude. What the fuck? I had like two chicken strips. I'm getting full. Mm. Oh. The Hatch Chili Burger. I'm telling y'all. It's not hot. It's not spicy. Flavorful. Even if you just, if you're scared of it, even if you just ask them, hey, could you put easy chilies on there? Oh, it's so good. That's good. Mm-hmm. another question okay very important question okay Tammy how do you excuse yourself from a room of people when you need to go rub one out so it's you know let's just don't beat around the bush okay I usually stand up and I usually say hey everybody could y'all give me about maybe five minutes? I've got to go bust a nut. You know, I'm going to go rub my clit for a minute. Yeah, I could easily slip out under the radar and not say anything. But I want them to know what I'm doing. Okay, I want every motherfucker in that room to know what I'm doing while I'm gone. And don't beat around the bush. Just say, hey, I'm going to go. I'm going to go rub one out. And I'll be right back. You know, cause why, why, why lie about it? Why lie about it? That don't make no damn sense to me. All right, <clears throat> let's answer another question. Let's see here. We got a couple more. Okay, we got, okay. This is a good one. Tammy, if you ever started a cult, what would it be like? Or be about. I hate to break it to you. But you're in a cult right now. <laughs> the cult of Tammy. Okay. If you're here and you're watching. Especially these mukbanks. I hooked your ass. I got your ass. You're in the cult of Tammy. So. I've got one. And you're, you're little cult members. And isn't it fun. It's adorable, you know? We're in a little cult here. It's cute. It's real cute. <laughs> okay. Let me dip the gravy here. Would have loved to have some Texas toast. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. Oh! Ah! It didn't spill. It didn't spill. Oh my God. Holy shit. That about got me. That about got me. I will say that. Yeah. Mmm. 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 One more question. I'm going to bounce out of here. Okay. Tammy. <clears throat> would you rather fart when you come or nut when you shit? Great question. Uh, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Very creative question. Like, you really thought of a good one. Okay. Um, so, would I rather fart when I come? So, think about me. I'm on my back. Okay. Getting my pussy ate, all right? And I'm like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. And then when I come, would I rather fart? Right then and there. Or when I'm sitting on the commode taking a shit, would I rather come? Or nut, as they said. 
Uh, I'm gonna pick nut when I shit. Cause I shit about five times a day. So five nuts a day is perfect. Five nuts a day is where you wanna be. Okay. Um, damn, that was a good question. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for the questions, man. Um, okay, that's it for today's mukbang. I love y'all. And um, uh, what what else? I'll see y'all in the next mukbang. F hey, follow me on TikTok and Instagram and all that shit. Y'all know that. Come on. If you're not already, what the fuck? All right? Love ya. Bye.